Hey everyone, it's Andrew Brown, and in this video, we're going to take a look at metadata for uh, S3. So what I want to do is make my way over to the IPS examples repo, and in here, I'm going to make a new folder, and this is going to be called, or <laughs> I tried to make a file, a folder called uh, metadata. And so the idea is that we want to attach metadata when we upload or update it later on, if we're allowed to. I'm just going to create a readme.md in here, and we're going to do what we normally do. We'll create a bucket. So I'll say Adibus S3, um, Adibus S3 make bucket S3 colon slash slash. This will be metadata fun AB and some numbers here. I'll go ahead and paste that in. I'm gonna make sure I'm actually in the metadata folder before I do that. Of course, you have to have the Adibus CLI installed, et cetera, et cetera. You should know by now as we've done so many labs with this. Um, so the bucket is now created. And the next thing I wanna do is create a file. So the question is, can we upload metadata at the time of creation or is that something we should be doing after the fact? So we'll go take a look at the CLI and we'll go over here and we'll say S3 API and we will look up put object. And actually before we do, let's just see if there's anything for metadata. Notice there's nothing for metadata. So I'm gonna assume that's how we're going to update it is through here. And if we search for metadata in here, there is a flag for metadata. So we can set metadata that way. I'll go here to examples. And I wonder if they have any metadata examples. It doesn't look like they do. That's totally okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file. So we'll say create a new file. That will be echo hello Mars. And we will pipe that to hello.txt, upload file with metadata. And we'll say, what will we say here? We'll say AWS S3 API put object. We'll specify our bucket. And we will specify a key. So we'll say hello. Txt, and now we want to do our metadata. So let's take a look at how we supply our metadata. And it's a map, so we can provide it in this kind of format here. Remember in the video, I said it had to start with like X Amazon, there's some kind of like prefix to it. The question is, will it automatically prepend, uh, append that for us? Um, it doesn't have much information here, but they were saying it had to start in a particular pattern but maybe the CLI will automatically do that for us. So here I'm just gonna say um, planet because we always change what planet <laughs> we're saying hello on. So this will just be Mars so that we know. And actually it's gonna be this, it's gonna be hello. So we'll say planet and then Mars. And so hopefully that will allow us to set that metadata. So we're gonna go ahead and we need to also specify the body, so we'll actually upload the file. There we go. We'll copy that, paste it down below, see what happens. It has a problem, we'll hit enter and figure out what it doesn't like. Body must have a file to a path. I'm in metadata. Oh, we didn't create the file. Let's go here and create it. And then we'll try this again. And it's upload the file. So is the metadata there? How could we observe it? Let's go take a look by using get object. Uh, get metadata through, I mean, maybe head object is better. That way we don't have to download the file. So we'll go here and say head object and we'll just get rid of this stuff here. And let's see if we can get our metadata back. All right, and so notice that the metadata says planet Mars. We didn't have to put the stuff in front of it. It figured it out. That doesn't mean that it's not there, but let's go take a look at the AWS console and see if there's any kind of differences that are going on. So in here we have metadata fun and we'll go into that file and I'm looking for that metadata. So notice that it already, it appended for us, but X AMZ meta planet and it lowercase it. If we come back over to um, here, it is lowercase. So the key is always gonna get lowercase and it automatically attached that for us. Notice that we go edit here. Um, it detected that the file was set as an octet file, which is interesting because it's actually a TXT file. 
So it says binary uh, octet stream. That's like usually what happens when it doesn't know what the file is. And we can change its content type here. Now understand that if uh, just because we change this value here does not necessarily mean that it will serve it as this file. It's just, this is metadata attached to it, right? So we can override this and we could say, this is just plain text because that's all it is. Uh, we could also add additional metadata. Notice if we go system defined and we choose something like mm, something else here. <laughs> uh, before I said like, hey, you can't change all these values, but it's allowing us to change all of them. So I'm like, what is going on here? So there must be other metadata that can get assigned because it's definitely true. There's ones that you can't define, but I guess anything that's in here, we can change. And there's probably additional metadata that um, AWS can supply. So I'm gonna go back and refresh this. Okay, it doesn't like where I am. So we'll try this again. And we'll go back to metadata. And so anyway, I can just show you that we can override that system to find one and we'll go ahead and save. But I do need to point out that, you know, if you, uh, there is system data that AWS will set and you cannot change it. All right. So yeah, that's pretty much all we really need to know about setting metadata and working with it. Obviously using head object is a good way of finding out what metadata is attached, which we can see there. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So we'll go ahead and just save this. So metadata example, and we'll sync it. We will go ahead and just delete this bucket. So go into here. And sometimes it's even just faster cleaning up here. I'm just getting tired of clicking stuff. So I'm gonna just say S3 um, remove, and this will be the address here. And we'll just say hello TXT. There we go. And then maybe we can just remove the bucket. I'm not sure if that actually removed the bucket. Let's go take a look there. I feel like it'd have to be RB to get rid of it. It's still there. So um, instead I'm gonna try RB, remove bucket. There we go. And that's a little bit faster. So we'll just say clean up. I really should start doing that more because it is quite the headache to click, click through the console. And then here it would just be this. So yeah, there we go. And I'll see you in the next one, okay? Ciao.